Welcome back to MCU Wars. We're here at DevCon by Renesis. I'm Cody Miller with EE Web, and we're here with Richard Berry and John Labrose. The first question we're going to cover today is uh, understanding um, the effort put in by you two as developers of real-time operating systems. Uh, what are some of the challenges as RTOS developers in supporting MCUs? Um, Richard, do you mind starting? Oh, sure. Um, well, I say the, fir the first challenge is to gain a deep understanding of exactly how the MCU works, the instruction set, the nuances of it, um, how, how the interrupts work, how they interact with each other. Um, a, a large proportion of actually uh, developing a kernel for a particular architecture is actually reading, reading the documentation, um, exploring how uh, the, the compiler, you know, the... Um, the additions that the compiler provides, uh, intrinsics and the like, to be able to interact with the hardware in the most um, maintainable, using that word again, uh, way possible. Um, but uh, above that, um, ab above the deep hardware interaction, you also have um, a very complex um, timing problem. Um, and there you're really looking at the robustness, making sure that the kernel is really doing what people expect it to do, the scheduling algorithm is being maintained absolutely, um, absolutely perfectly, that all the prioritizations working, there are no uh, unforeseen interactions between different tasks. Um, so, you know, it, it's not a trivial job, although, although the amount of software you produce at the end of it may be quite small, the amount of time and effort that goes into it and to iron everything out, make sure everything's perfect, as perfect as it can be, is actually quite intense. John, do you have some... Yeah, definitely. Uh, I mean, the good news about this whole thing is that the, the user itself that uses our products doesn't have to worry about any of that. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is a one-time thing. And in fact, you know, in our case, and I'm sure Richard's uh, case as well, we've ported the kernel over to 45 different CPU architectures. So, so the, 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 the thing with that is that the kernel was designed from the get-go to be extremely portable. So there's really no need to you know, really worry from a, from a customer point of view. So that, all that complexity has been isolated, and you know, the hope is that the customer actually uses the software as is, and we worry about the interaction with the microprocessor, the instruction set, and how to protect critical sections and all that. So all these worrisome things that we have to worry about is isolated from the, from the user. We're, we're removing all that effort from them, so right. they, they can just write their application. Okay, okay. Right. So when does it make sense, uh, John, for someone to write their own RTOS? That's a, that's a pretty loaded question. I don't think it makes sense to write your own RTOS unless you really have a very specific need. If you have a super specific need, then okay. But other than that, it makes no sense to write your own kernel. There's tons of kernels available out there, commercial products, free products. Uh, it makes no sense to write your own. Um, especially if you're writing a kernel that eventually you want to add on features such as you know, TCP IP and USB support and all that, most likely you will have to write your kernel in order to support some of these primitives that are common to all the, uh, the real-time kernels. So because of that, then you would most likely write your kernel any, the same way as we would have written our kernel in the first place. So why reinvent the wheel? You should be concentrating on, on using the wheel instead of reinventing it. I kind of look at it as, you know, you're not in the business of creating houses, you're in the business of staying in the house and, and living in, in the house. You don't want to start building or reinventing screws and, and hammers and things. You want to actually start using uh, the, the IP that's been in existence for a number of years. So. Well, great. Um, so what kind of advice would you have, Richard, for uh, a manager whose development team is coming to them saying, we're going to start writing an RTOS from scratch, as a manager, a lot of times they're relying on their, uh, their yeah. employees. What, would, what advice would you give to that manager? Um, I, uh, if I was managing a team that wanted to write their own artos, I would say, fine, do it. Uh, but do it in your own time. Don't do it on my time because I don't want to pay for something that um, isn't going to work as well as products that I can get off the shelf. Um, even free products like mine. You know, why, why on earth would you write your own? when you can get something that's free, um, commercial quality, supported, been around for eight years, is known to be really robust, and it's there for you instantly. 
why, why would you write your own? It, it's an intellectual challenge. I can understand the enjoyment of it, but uh, you know, don't do it on my time, do it on your own time. Yeah, the only, the only comment I would have there is that you say that it's a commercial grade product, it's mm. supported, but support is not free. The product is free, the, your hours are not. My, my uh, well, just to uh, agree and disagree on that. Okay. Um, the support is free, but my hours are not, you're okay. right. But okay. I don't charge the customer for my support. You, you don't? Mm, I don't. There is a, okay. commer there is a commercial version of, uh, of Freeartos which comes with a support contract. Okay. Uh, a lot of companies, um, you know, for legal reasons or whatever, won't have software in their product unless there is a written contract. Hmm. So um, if you want a support contract, you can uh, go that route if you want right. to. Right, but purchase that separately. So in our yeah. case, when we sell our software, not only does the source code come with it, but also a full year support, full support for a product. That's included. Okay.